welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at 3D Mark 11. It just came out this benchmarking program. I'll start using it in my hardware reviews. I've used different FutureMark products before. 3D Mark 11 is brand new. It focuses mostly on DirectX 11 on your video cards. And um, for example, here on this 5870 video card, I usually install the latest drivers overclock the card, then I run benchmarks, all kinds of uh, benchmarks. One of them is the FutureMark benchmark. Now if you go to FutureMark.com, you can download 3DMark11, it's free. They have a basic edition that you can download. And um, basically I'm going to have a contest based on this. Download the basic edition, run the benchmarks, post them to this video, or post your scores as a screen capture on my forum. Those are the only two ways that you can post. And, um, and I'll pick some random winners, basically, okay? Install it, make sure you meet the uh, minimum requirements of 3D Mark 11, and uh, run the uh, benchmarks, basically. There's four graphic tests, one physics test, and one combined test. This is different than 3D Mark Vantage and 3D Mark 06. It doesn't really test the CPU. It focuses on DirectX 11 more than anything, okay? So uh, this is different. The graphics of 3D Mark 11 are different, the tests look different as well there's some similarities but uh, when you go to download this you won't be able to go into the advanced tab that's grayed out because that's the pain version uh, if you opt to buy that it will be enabled after you get the key but uh, the basic edition only has performance enabled okay and uh, you can run it in three modes the full 3d mark 11 experience the demo mode or the benchmark test only mode okay so when you run the benchmark mode for example it'll give you a score at the end obviously and you can compare the scores and that's what I want to get from you guys so when you run it it's gonna go through different graphics obviously this is brand new it's an underwater sea scape basically looks like you're scuba diving down there and basically you are you're in these submarines basically um, doing some exploration on uh, some shipwrecks and uh, hey I, I'm all into that so shipwrecks are cool and this is deep water diving obviously and it's using the full capabilities of DirectX 11 and I noticed that a lot because on this uh, video card of mine, the 5870, man, those frames per second were actually quite low compared to the 3D Mark Vantage and 3D Mark 06 and other games that I've been playing. So this really puts the card to the test. Okay, it really does stress it out. So um, it's going to be interesting to see your your scores and the ones that you post. So um, after you've posted that, obviously. Uh, I'll check your scores and, and it's just cool to see what you guys get. Okay, this is the score that I got. It might look low to you, but the scoring scheme of 3D Mark 11 is totally different than 3D Mark Vantage and uh, 3D Mark 06, so don't compare with that. Um, just go ahead and run it and see what you get. Okay, um, I'm sure they're going to have patches and upgrades and all kinds of stuff for this because this is version 1.0, anyways. So, um, contest rules are quite simple subscribe to my website post your scores to this video or post the scores as screen captures if you can't post the video to my forum okay those are the only options that you've got so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and then do that now the prizes I'm gonna see what I can do here first of all I got a couple of games I got some legal keys for uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Napoleon Total War so I'm gonna give out some uh, CD keys so that way you guys can go ahead and install this from uh, your Steam account okay so you need a Steam account and uh, you'll download the game through there and then use the keys that I'll email you to the winners okay of this contest and I'll pick the contest uh, winners at random open to the world so no problems there okay guys so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck